What's up, guys? Spencer Lazara here for MMA Interviews. We've got, along with us, Will Campuzano, UFC 167. He takes on Sergio Pettis here. A late-notice fight for you. You had a fight, actually, just a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, I fought uh, four weeks ago in Tokyo, Japan, and, uh, you know, I was hanging out and grappling with women, and then I got this call, and I still continue to grapple with women. So I got a three-day notice. That's all I need, baby. There's a lot of grappler, women, female grapplers out there in Dallas, or what? Yeah, we we have like we actually have really two uh, up and comers right now: Jin Yu Frey and uh, Amber Stotzenberger. So nice. And the fight with Sergio was was late notice. When did you get the call? How did it kind of come about? Man, I actually uh, I heard they they were looking for an opponent, you know. And at this time, I'm like. You know, I've been offered a short notice fight before, and I didn't take it. And I was just like, you know, I just I kind of been hanging on the outside, and I just felt like it was time to get back in, you know. And uh, Sergio Perez, I think it's it's a relatively easy competition, so I'm I'm game. How did it, they called you though? I mean, you're saying that you kind of had an idea. But did you reach out? Yeah, I, I reached out to the uh, matchmaker, and uh, he was excited for it, you know, and uh, so. I'm glad. It's at 35. I know you're you're on a five fight win streak. All at 25, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's at 35, but he's, you know, he's so young that he doesn't have his man strength yet. So it, the strength part is not going to come into play. It's actually in my favor because he's so young, and uh, that's the one thing about I think is different from MMA and boxing. Because in boxing, uh, you know, that speed and that and stuff, it just kind of works in your flavor and reaction. But in MMA. You actually need to be strong physically, and uh, he'll come to find out on Saturday. You felt at 35 a lot that you weren't as strong as you were at 25. How was that for you? You're a lanky guy. Yeah, I'm a lanky guy, but too, I, I was a young guy. I didn't hit my man strength till I turned 25, and then I naturally just put 10 pounds on, and I'm just like, oh, man, you know, I feel good. My confidence went up the roof. You know, women started hooking up with me. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. Love it. I mean, you've been eating all week too. You're not cutting. Anything, no, right? it's actually you know that's the one blessing about taking this short notice fight. It's not at flyweight, and I don't have to cut weight, which would have taken like my legs out because you know I didn't have any time to prepare like I would have. But you know I'm eating, so I'm resting. I'm carb loading, and uh, I'm a, my gas tank is gonna be good. You didn't even start any martial arts, you told me, until you were, what, 20, 23, 24 years old? 20 years old. 20. And you're 27 now, right? 27 now, so I put in some time, man. I've been grinding, and uh, you know, I've had the dedication and uh, and just, you know, just day to day. I, I don't take days off. I don't party, you know. That's pretty crazy, though, when you see guys who didn't have even at least a background as a, as a, as a young person. A young guy doing some sort, you know, whether that's wrestling or taekwondo or something, it's pretty crazy to be at this level that you've made it, right? I mean, starting when you were just 20 years old. You know, it. it most people don't understand how hard it's been because a lot of these guys have been have grown up wrestling, and people don't understand the 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 conditioning, your muscles, and everything, the work you have to put in, and like, you know, I've I've, I've had to work twice as hard as everyone to get at this level, you know, and, and stay around here. Yeah. And do you feel like this go-around in the UFC, you're the most ready and, and the most prepared, even though it's a short-notice fight, you feel like mentally at least? Man, this, this fight, you know, I'm not really thinking much of this fight, but, man, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get in there and dominate the UFC. These flyweights, you know, I've seen them compete, and I know where, I, where I'm at right now, where mentally and physically and, and where I can push a fight. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not too impressed with the UFC flyweight roster right now, and I'm a, I can't wait for next year, man. I'm gonna tear it up in there. It's pretty crazy how wide open it is too in there. I mean, you don't really have two clear-cut com contenders because you've already had some of the guys who you would think the names already fight for the title. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, man, it's a great time right now to be a flyweight because here in a couple years is gonna change drastically you know you're gonna get all those young guys you know you're gonna get that young UFC champion and their flyweights you know it's like the other weight classes like you're gonna have to stay young and because the competition is gonna be so fast and so athletic you know it's it's my time I gotta take advantage of it right now how about your uh, your preparation your camp back home what, what's it like 
Well, you know, I get a, I train mostly out of Mulder MMA, but I, you know, I, I, I get a lot of different looks, and uh, we cross train a lot. You know, Dallas DFW is real friendly, gym wise. Uh, so we get a lot, a lot of different looks. And what can we expect uh, from you on Saturday night? We'll, you know, break down the fight. Where are your biggest advantages? We talked about experience. This one. I mean, I, my my man everywhere. This kid, you know. I mean, I, I think boxing fights are fun. You know, I don't, I don't, I fought like, I think one boxer had like a eighty or a hundred amateur fights. Like, you know, I get in there mixed up with these these guys. Like, this kid, he's just. Honestly, I'm just gonna run run him over. Right it's pretty there. crazy that you're this big of a dog, though, right? We're, you're saying uh, maybe your people can make some money on this one. Yeah, I get I get that. You know, I'm coming in short notice, and you know that's that's either you know I I I stay active when I'm not. I don't have a fight camp. It's obviously hard to fight when you don't have a set date, and uh, you know that's that's one thing. I've been in worse spots, you know, but I know I, I can perform, and I'm a vet, and I, I know, you know, I'm gonna know how to re reserve myself and where to hang out and where to push it. So, you know, I'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, so stand up. You expect sort of a stand up war. I mean, that's what he's gonna want. I would assume is is, is standing. I don't think. See that that's that's where people are gonna fall short because he doesn't get to decide where the fight goes. I do. So, so where's he gonna go? Wherever I want. So. All right, all right. So I'm saying. Well, cool, man. That. I'm excited for it, dude. I mean, any thoughts on the main event? I've been asking guys all week here, uh, Hendricks and GSP. It's such a big card, which is cool that you're on it too. But who, who wins that one? I think, I think GSP takes a lot of punishment in the fifth. He's been caught, and then people start getting uh his timing out for the wrestling. And I, I think Johnny, if he can get that second win, I think Johnny's gonna knock him out in the fifth round. Because he gets touched a lot in the fifth round. You ever train around him at all? I know he's kind of in your neck of the woods, right? I do, I do. We cross train, but you know, we don't actually train with Johnny. He's big man. He crush, he would crush me. But uh, we we do, and uh, we train at Team Takedown cross train. We do like a little man practice. You know, no one over 165 pounds allowed. <laughs> we'll be having maybe a little bit of eyes also on the flyweight contest that's going on. Uh, Bag out Tinoff and, and Tim Elliott. Oh man, I'm actually a big fan of Tim. Uh, Tim, man, he just his fighting style. He, he's just a superstar to me. You know the way he fights. Uh, he's just a wild man. I, I like it. Nice. All right, cool. Will, anything else you want to say, boss? I uh, just want to give a shout out to D Throne for stepping up and sponsoring me in Booster Rev Gear. Uh, you guys are awesome, Tusk uh, Medical uh, Industry. So. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate the time. Glad we got to do this, and uh, best of luck on Saturday. All right, brother. You guys bet. Make some money. There you go. Three to one dog right here. Will Camazano takes on Sergio Pettis Saturday night. Don't miss it. All right, guys. Got it. Sweet. All right, awesome. Thanks, bro.